As you know, last night we took an urgent action to escalate our response in these communities, immediately implementing a hard lockdown. That means residents of Minjari and Rockhole no longer have the five reasons to leave their home. They can only leave for medical treatment in an emergency or if required by law. Yes, these are strong measures, but the threat to lives is extreme. An expanded rapid assessment team was deployed to Binjari and Rockhold last night to help with the hard lockdown, begin the contact tracing work and provide as much support as possible to residents. This includes providing food and other essential items to residents. The effort undertaken by our teams last night and the cooperation of Binjari and Rockhold communities was nothing short of phenomenal. I want to especially mention the Worley staff member Peter and his team who facilitated this last night. They were exceptional. Thank you. It's highly likely that more residents will be transferred to House Springs today, either as positive cases or close contacts. We've already identified 38 close contacts in Binjari and that number will go up. Those 38 are being transferred now. I contacted the Prime Minister last night. We are grateful for the support of about 20 ADF personnel as well as army trucks to assist with the transfer of positive cases and close contacts and to support the communities. We are doing an assessment today of what extra resources we might need from the Feds and the Prime Minister is ready to help further. I thank him and the Australian Government for that. Exposure sites will be updated on the website as the contact tracing continues today. We'll also keep testing and doing vaccinations in Minjari and Rockhall.